What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Davis and today we're going to be reviewing my vintage t-shirt collection. All right here. So yeah, I'm going to be discussing uh, which bands they are, how I got them, and everything in between. So let's hop right in. All right, so this first one is the very first t-shirt I ever purchased that was vintage and that is 1994, 1995, Rolling Stones. Voodoo Tour. Um, I got this off Etsy for like $35 back in like 2014-2015. But yeah, I'll have B-roll in so you can see the whole shirt. But on to the next one. Next one is straight uh, influenced by the fit god himself, Jonah Hill. And we have the Grateful Dead Lithuania 1992 Olympic shirt. Next, we have the Nine Inch Nails Closer to God uh, seashell tee or just shell tee in this great green, faded green color. With the tour day and album name on the back. I got this at a Philly, Philly thrift, uh, thrift event. Yeah, got it. Really cool event. Next, we have... Uh, one of my ultimate grails, I've been, I searched for it high and low for years on end, and then we randomly went to a uh, Philly 3 Market and Captain Vintage, I'll link his stuff in the description, because he's a great vintage seller, but he had this, oh, it's really blown out, but you'll be able to tell in there, the Smiths Vintage Tea with Morrissey and the flowers on there, so single stitched all the way around. Uh, next, we have one of my movie t-shirts, and that is Clockwork Orange. Also blown out again, but you'll be able to see it in B-roll. But yeah, such so paper thin. I don't know if you can sell. So paper thin. Next, we have my other ultimate grail, and that is Vintage Akira shirt. With the back hit on the back. I got this at uh, Atlanta Thrift Con. Uh, we were in town for that event. And ended up getting this cut tag. Uh, and then another one. Another crazy one is the vintage Dennis Rodman. With his sunglasses on. This used to change colors. Back in the day his hair would glow. Uh, if it's in the dark, but unfortunately it doesn't glow anymore. Nothing on the back. Got this one off grailed for Super Steel at the time. Then we have vintage WWF with all the superstars on it. Even the sleeve hits. But yeah, we got The Rock, Stone Cold, Mankind, Undertaker... And Kane, it has all their stats underneath it. So yeah, got this off another uh, off Grailed again. Grailed's usually where I find all my stuff, or in person at vintage events or thrifting. And so so then we have the next one. This was probably my second or third one I bought off Etsy back in the day. Is the Limp Biscuit their first album tour? Significant Others, with all the tour dates on it. Next, we have The One. This one probably took me the longest to find, and funny story behind it, it was off eBay, and I got really scared at the end that I was going to lose it, and I outbid it myself, so I paid like an extra $20 on this, but it was still such a steal. But the vintage Rage Against the Machine, Evil Empire, with the... Fear is your only god on the back. So yeah, I got this for a super steal, but funny funny ending of this story. I have uh, my ultimate grail that I found this year, actually, on my 24th birthday. But that is the vintage Wu-Tang shirt. Got this at uh, Good Times uh, ATL, really good store if you're ever in Atlanta, great selection, so the Wu-Tang Clan right there with all the members' names on the back, 
Really sick shirt. Always wanted it, and I finally pulled the trigger when I saw it in this size. It's a double X, so very rare sizing. And this one also still does glow in the dark very, very well. I'll put some B-roll in that. And then next we have a really cool Led Zeppelin uh, vintage shirt. Love the colors all around it. And then the back hit is such a cool one with all their nostalgia logos and imagery on the back of it got this one from a thrift event in my hometown really happy to pick it up so next we have the shirt that is the most funniest and the one that I grew up on the TV show I grew up on so that is the Vila La Bam don't feed Phil day shirt um, if you ever, if you grew up watching the show, you know that was like a Bam challenged his dad that he couldn't eat for a day, and I don't know if he, he I think he failed, I think he failed, but yeah, that's the graphic on there. I got this from a drugstore uh, ATL in Atlanta, really another good vintage store in Atlanta. If you ever want to check it out, they have great, great vintage. Next up, we have the Vintage Bulls uh, 1996 championship t-shirt I uh, love this graphic with the blue and then Chicago Bulls logo you can actually see the textured in the basketball I got this off Etsy very long time ago also before all the bull stuff really went above the price market uh, after the last dance exactly like the uh, Jordan ones especially Chicago's and stuff so here we have a uh, the Black Sabbath Volume 4 t-shirt. I absolutely love this graphic, and this is my favorite Black Sabbath album, so I definitely had to pick this up. But yeah, love Ozzy on the front. No back hit on that one either. Next we have my luckiest pickup of this whole collection, the one that I'm not going to sell anymore because I'm very attached to it, but also the story behind it. Uh, one of my great friends, Jacob, went to the bins one day, uh, saw this, and picked it up, and that is the vintage Michael Myers Halloween t-shirt with the face, pure and simply evil, and then the back hit, of course, Halloween, with their logo, and that he comes at night. But no, so, my good friend, like I was saying, Jacob found this, and I ended up trading him a Pink Floyd t-shirt that I had. Not that big of a Pink Floyd fan, so we did an even trade for that. And uh, he knows I won that trade, fair and square. Sorry, Jacob. Uh, the next one we have is Vintage Youth of Today t-shirt. Uh, great punk band out of New York. Very blown out on this white. But you'll see in B-roll with all that. No back hit on this one. The main reason why I got this one is I like punk music, but also I saw uh, Maddie Matheson wearing it, and I was like, oh shit, we gotta, gotta find one that's similar. And I found this one, the exact one that he has. Alright, and then the last vintage pickup I have is one that my girlfriend got me, and that is uh, Pearl Jam with the famous back hit. Nine out of ten kids prefer crayons to guns. I think this t-shirt's just amazing, especially growing up with everything that was going on in the world and how the world is right now. I think the back statement is very true, and I always get good reactions out of wearing this once people figure it out and stuff. So, All right, everyone, so that was my vintage t-shirt collection video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. There will be an updated uh, t-shirt collection because I am in the process of still collecting more uh, t-shirts from bands, movies, or just pop culture. One I'm looking for currently is the Vintage Doors t-shirt with the hit of the Lizard King on the back. So yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.